The following is a fan-based parody. Transformers War for Cybertron belongs to Hasbro, Hyman Studios, and Activision. Please support the official release, and seriously, go buy the game. It's fucking awesome. A long time ago, in a distant part of the universe, a race of sentient robots known as the Transformers dwelled on the planet Cybertron. This world and its people has fascinated the fanboys of Earth for over a quarter of a century. However, it also drew the attention of psychotic fangirls who wrote terrible fanfiction about them and even paired them up into lovers, much to the fanboys' horror. And then, when faithful, the unthinkable happened. The most psychotic fangirl of them all decided to make an abridged series based on these sentient machines and their world. May Primus have mercy on their sparks. Oh yeah, I rock! I bet they're gonna make a totally sweet mixed out toy of me! I told you we should have taken that last left for the exploding Autobot ships, and not the right after the floating corpses. Who's driving here? Sometimes I wonder. Who the frack cares how we got here? The space station is in sight! Megatron, what the frack happened to your voice? Huh? Oh frack, hang on. <coughs> This is what I get for being voiced over by a fucking faggot. <coughs> As I was saying, the space station is in sight. And by the look of that awesome kick-ass battle that's going on out there, I know the legends were true. I knew Starscream was hiding them here. What legend? You mean the Dark Energon legends? No, you walking pieces of scrap! The greatest treasure of the Autobots! Matrix? No! Far greater! The panties of Optimus Prime. Uh, seriously. <laughs> So We came all this way, lost half our fleet, suffered a great number of casualties to get a pair of panties! Not just any panties, you fool! These are the panties of Optimus Prime! But why do you want his panties? If this is Slash related, may I remind you that he's voiced by Peter Cullen in this game and therefore deemed untouchable by fangirls. Slash, attempt to describe their online girl panties. He's followed by crazy and insane fangirls. Science! In case you haven't gotten, I am voiced over by a psychotic fangirl! I will have those panties and use them to destroy the Autobots! But sir, we're machines! Robots! We don't wear undergarments! Do not dare disturb the psychotic fantasies of a psychotic fango, you fool! Why did we join up again? We're the dental plan, I think. We're machines! We don't have teeth! It was a good deal and we get 25% of the Denny's! I hate Denny's. The pancakes taste sticky. Machines don't eat pancakes! Now ram this ship into the core of that station! It's time for more special effects! This is gonna cost us millions! 
Yeah, we're in so much debt to Cybertron's National Bank! Luckily, the ship is insured against crashing into space stations. Also, I made sure that everyone was to get health insurance. Even if we lose this war, we're going to be filthy, stinking rich. Sweet. But sir... What? You're going to say that suicide or something? No. I forgot to make the health insurance for everyone valid for crashing into space stations for insane purposes. Even you. Oh, no. My good. Setting to kill permanently? Oh, crap. Well, we'll still make a mint out of this ship! Now go! Building the alternate means of entry to the next pod. That wasn't a cool explosion. I'd give it a six. Change stories! What oh, crap, it's gonna blow! Decepticons! Because of some dim-witted fool who forgot to activate your health insurance, your lives have suddenly become very expensive! If you die, I'll make sure you wish you were alive! That doesn't make sense. Shut up, run. Soundwave, I'm sending the data to you now. You may have got this far on the dark energy. Starscream, this acrimony is needless. I know who you once were. Who the frag are you? More to the point, why the hell did you decide to ram your ship into my station? Seriously, do you have any idea how much it costs to keep this place running? It's not an easy job, you know. Plus, I got my family in here, and it's rest in a junk you have stew tonight. As if I haven't got enough problem. Apart from your strange cuisine, that makes no sense whatsoever. I am Megatron, and I am here for the panties of Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime's panties? Why the fuck would you assume that they're here? According to the legends, this is the only place within our galaxy with a washing machine. <gasps> it's my washing machine! Mine! You'll be turned aside before I hand it over! What a stuck-up bitch! Um, bro? That was a guy. Frank's that supposed to mean? Well, when you called him a bitch, I assumed you thought he was a girl. In case you didn't realize, we're robots and therefore do not have genders. So hence, he or she is a bitch. Then how do you explain RC? Transsexual whore. Enough of your petty babbling about the fucked up reason why there are female robots within our race which does not reproduce beer intercourse so their purpose within our kind is obsolete. The panties await! I swear this whole episode is just one big fucking rant.